morning one and all students today we are going to begin your grammar and this is going to be a very important video for all the classes from class 9 10th and also it is equally important for class 11th students so if you want to learn something extra apart from all you are heartily welcome over here we are going to begin reported speeches today okay so let's begin the topic without wasting a moment so we are dealing with reported speech first of all we should know what is reported speech okay whenever we are going to talk about reported speech at that time we have some direct words that are spoken by a person and those words when converted into indirect become indirect speech okay so here i am giving you a example for example he said to me comma inverted comma you are very clever so this is a simple a direct speech which is written in front of you okay so when we and uh, okay let's add one more word over here you are very clever now okay so when if we will come just change this particular sentence into a direct speech what will be the indirect just see our look so he told me that i was very clever then okay so this is what a indirect so if we compare these two sentences we will found that the changes occurred at a definite places so what what is the place where these changes have occurred the one is said the other one is comma inverted comma the third one is pronoun the second one is things and finally a word so this is all where changes has been done okay so simply if we know how to convert these changes we are able to understand a direct and indirect speech okay so if we just go through the rules if we want to go in the depth we will found that there are dif different type of the sentences okay the first is before going means before understanding the topic it's also necessary for all of us to know the sentence if we know what is assertive sentence if we know that what is interrogative sentences if we know what is imperative sentence and if we know what is exclamatory sentence direct to convert direct and indirect speech it will not create any problem for all of us okay so i am just giving a very brief hint to all of you in assertive sentences they of always they will end with a full stop so they can be affirmative and negative interrogative sentences are of two types the one is yes or no type and the second one is what type in yes or no type we will the sentence will begin from a uh, helping verb and from in your what type the sentence will begin from question verb okay like are you ill it is a yes or no interrogative sentence and what are you doing it is what type interrogative sentence okay imperative sentence as we know that is denote order command request advice suggestion etc okay so here the subject you is always omit we never speak nor use while writing english the subject you in imperative sentences okay so the sentence will be like uh, uh, open the door uh, work hard let us go let me go don't be outside 
Okay, such type of the sentences are here in imperative sentences. And exclamation we know very well. Then in exclamatory sentences we will have the sentences like sudden feelings which uh, represent sudden feelings. Like uh, if I say, uh, wow, what a, uh, what a beautiful sight is it. Or I say, last, I lost my pen. Or I say, hooray, we have won the match. Or I say, a bravo, well done, boys. So such type of the words which, uh, ex which explains the sudden feelings are called exclamatory words and the sentences that deal with the exclamation words are called exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentence can be, they will definitely have the sign of exclamation either with the exclamation word or at the end of the sentence. For example, wow! Exclamation mark. It is a very beautiful. Wow! What a scene. Okay, full stop. So, wow sign of exclamation, what a scene, full stop. So, it can, it will definitely have a sign of exclamation. What a beautiful frog it is. It is also an exclamatory sentence, though it will end with full stop. Okay, so this is what a brief uh, intro of the types of sentences and if you know these type of sentences you are in very uh, much comfort while converting a direct into indirect speech okay so there are some certain words there are there is some exercises so the first we will talk about uh, how to convert this uh, why this now has become then so there are sir, a certain exercise that is given in your book Go through that particular book and try to learn all these words. The words like now becomes then, today becomes that day, uh, tomorrow the next day, the next day will be the following day, hence, hence, come, ago, come, go. So such type of a lot of words are there which when we are going to convert direct into indirect, they will automatically they will change. Okay, so this is what actually the uh, things denoting nearness and times okay so this is the first basic uh, change that we, we, we should know the second one is here that is your uh, tense so if I talk about tense so your four fingers are present your right four fingers are four fingers are present tense and these four fingers are your past okay so this is present in different second one is present continuous Third one is present perfect and the last, your little finger is present perfect continuous. So these four will match with present indefinite becomes past indefinite, present continuous become past continuous, present perfect become past perfect and present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous. You will have to simply make a namaste to me and then you will be able to know how to convert present tense in direct and indirect speech. The whole present will become the whole past. Present indefinite, present per, present indefinite, past indefinite, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect and present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous simply. Okay, so this is the change of present tense. If I talk about past tense, past tense there is also a change in past tense. Okay, how these four fingers are full past okay so the one that's similar one means your first and third these are equal in length so they should be combined together and different different means in height fingers are combined together so present this is past indefinite this is past continuous this is past perfect and this is past perfect continuous so when we match past indefinite with the past perfect so it will become past perfect means past indefinite will goes in past perfect and past continuous will goes in past perfect continuous it means did becomes had and was what becomes had been there is no change in past perfect and in past perfect continuous okay and the last one is future that is really very simple wherever there is will it becomes would and wherever there is shall it becomes should okay we should only uh, uh, well while tackling future tense we should be very careful as it is a rule that only I and we will accept shall okay so if there is as there will be change in pronoun so when you are going to convert a direct into, into direct definitely there will be change in pronoun and when there will be change in pronoun would or should 
it will use according to the word that has been used over here like it is i over here so according to i you will have to use should if here will it would be uh, he so here that particular would be good okay so this you have to take care in your mind so this is all about how you can change uh, the tense while tackling a direct into indirect speech okay students the second one is your you the pronoun so pronoun only first and second person pronouns are going to be changed as we know that in pronoun like pronoun has three cases personal pronoun has three cases nominative case uh, objective case and the last one is possessive case it means nominative accusative and genitive cases so these cases you must know like i me my we us are you your your he his him she her her they their them it its its if you know these basic concepts of english then you will be in very fit while tackling a direct into indirect okay so if there is i like if there is a sentence in place of you if here it was i okay so i will always the first person pronoun always changes according to the subject of reported speech this is the subject of reported speech and this is the object of reported verb okay so reported verbs he and when i will go in he it will also become he the subjective case of he is he that is why he was very clever then okay so as here it is you you always change according to the object so if there is you it will change according to the object so that is why you has become over here i i was very clever then okay so this is what a very simple method by which you can understand the change in pronoun according to the case according to the case like nominative like objective like genitive you will just change the pronoun of the word the same case will accept the same pronoun okay you will have to choose the same uh, case of the pronoun for that particular word okay like here it is subject that's why i have opted i and uh, you, uh, he okay now let's talk about change in uh, said and change in comma inverted comma so simply it's also very simple if it is your assertive sentence if it is your assertive sentence said to it will become told okay said to will become told and if it is said it will remain remain similar same as said if it is say it will remain same if it is says it will become tells if it is will say it will remain as will say and if it is says to it will become tells or if it uh, if it is uh, say to it will become tell okay so this is what you will have to do while doing it okay says will remain says if it is say to it will it will become tell says to tells so this is and when if it is present and future tense the tense in reported speech it will not change if there are two condition when if you are dealing with those condition the tense will not change the one is here the reported verb it should be in present or future and here if it is universal truth the tense will not change only two conditions are there okay so this you have to keep in your mind so if it is assertive sentence you will do all these things and in place of comma and bracket comma you will add that so this is simply a example of assertive sentence that is written in front of you okay so let us talk about interrogative sentences if i talk about interrogative sentence interrogative sentence is also very simple to do as i told you that interrogative sentence can be of two type okay the one is uh, the one is that deal with uh, helping verb 
and the another one is that is dealing with your uh, question word. So if there is an interrogative sentence in front of you, you have to change said into asked. The one is said, it will become asked. In all the interrogative sentences, doesn't matter it is uh, yes or no type or doesn't matter it is what type. Said will become asked. In place of comma and printed comma, it will become if. If, if it is yes or no type. Okay, yes or no type. And in place of uh, if it is like what are you doing? What are you doing? Now, it is also an interrogative sentence. So, same question word, same question word will be act in place of comma and bracket comma. Okay, I am just telling you the answer. So, he asked, he asked me if I was very clever then. I was very clever then. Okay, second one is he simple asked me what I was doing then. So this is how we change the sentence into indirect while tackling it. Okay, now next if I talk about imperative sentences, imperative sentences as per the requirement said becomes advised, said will be changed into uh, suggested, okay, order, commanded as the sentence. In 99% cases, comma inverted comma will become two. Only there is two sentences that are not take, that doesn't take comma and two as a in place of comma inverted comma. And the sentences are if the sentence begin with don't or if the sentence begin with let's. If let's is there, if don't is there, it will not change into two. Rather it will become not to and here that they should, that you should, that he should, that she should. So if there is a sentence the teacher said, comma inverted comma, open the book, open the book. So it's very simple, the teacher ordered as teacher has the authority power, he can order you. So the teacher ordered to open the book, simple, this will be, this will be the teacher ordered to open the book. If there is a sentence, the teacher said, comma, inverted comma, work hard. Okay, so the teacher suggested to work hard. Okay, the teacher said, comma, inverted comma, don't look outside. So just as I told you, don't becomes not to. Okay, so the teacher suggested not to look outside. If there is a sentence like, let me go, the teacher said, comma, inverted comma, let them play. The teacher said, uh, uh, the teacher told us, the teacher told to let them play. So this will be the indirect of the let me, let them, let her, like these words. And if there is let's, it's very simple. Let's will become that they should, that we should, that you should, according to the pronoun that are used over there. Okay, students. So this is what the change on behalf of uh, imperative sentences. And now we are going to talk about exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences also have no, uh, you know, uh, different rules. They also have some different rules in exclamatory sentences. So exclamatory sentences deal with sudden exclamation like wow, like ah, like alas, like bravo, like hooray. So these type of words are there when we talk about in exclamatory sentences. So when we convert these sentences into indirect speech, we don't use these words in indirect. Rather we eliminate these words with the I we use the word exclaim. 
sad will become exclaimed with joy, exclaimed with surprise, exclaimed with uh, sorrow. Bravo will become applauded. Bravo will become applauded. Okay. So, like if the word is there, he sad, comma inverted comma. Uh, hurry, we have born sign of his cholesterol in red comma blue. So it will become he exclaimed with joy that. They had born. Okay, it will be better to change this pronoun as they. So they exclaimed with joy that they had born the match or it, anything else. Okay, so student, this is all in brief a very sound description of how to convert in a direct into indirect speech. Still, if you have any query, you can. Come to me in the school WhatsApp group and you can put your queries. I am always there to resolve your problems. Okay. Till then, keep learning and keep watching and keep enjoying with everyone. Thank you all.